All right, so here's a quick review on the Ann Doyer uh, slider, the GTV 250, and the Aldochrone uh, slider as well. Um, the one thing I guess the Aldochrone has over it is you can lock it. Um, so it's just got these two little... Um, side side um, kind of turntable style things and um, you can unlock it or lock it so it won't move on you that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much about it um, the other side as well um, positive and negative um, just kind of loosens the conveyor belt um, so how easier it can slide. So right now if I turn it all the way to positive here, you can see there, positive. It, um, it's pretty stiff, but it's actually good because you can actually control a nice, uh, smooth slide if you want. Um, if you put it all the way down onto the negative here. It's very loose, so it, uh, I mean, slides around a lot easier. Um, kind of like the and Oyer one here. Um, it's, um, it's a lot louder as well. Um, I'd probably prefer the Aldochrone, obviously, because of that extra stuff, but if you're just looking to get, like, a okay slider to do some things on and the Andoyer GTV 250 is actually pretty good um, you get to go a little bit longer on it and um, for the bottom side uh, the Aldercone only has a 3 8 uh, thread hole so um, you'd have to get like an adapter I guess and if you want to put it on a quarter inch tripod head uh, the Andoyer has the quarter inch and the three eighths as well under it, um, so that would make a um, little bit easier, I guess, if you wanted to set it up. But um, I'm going to do some slide footage here. Um, uh, I just got a couple uh, things in the background over there. I'll do some slide shots on. I just kind of have them set. I just have my egg interface over there and uh another uh g7 cam i just have them hanging around so i'll just uh do some um uh, slide shots on those and then um you can compare the two i guess okay so here is the and doyer uh slider the GTV 250 so here we go I'm just gonna slide here try to be as steady as I can kind of a little bit faster but you can probably hear the the sliding noise as well as it's going across here goes the second pass oh, kinda of got stuck there we'll do one more So yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. Um, it feels pretty smooth. Uh, once you get to the center part, about you can kind of feel right in the center of it. It kind of has a weight in it, so it's almost like it uh, wants to go back and forth and center itself. But uh, other than that, um, it's not too bad at all, actually. Um, I'm actually going to probably use this one, I think, just, uh, one, because it slides maybe about an inch or two longer, so I can get that extra bit there. Um, if you're wondering what this is filming on, this is on the G7 with the SLR Magic 17mm T1.6. 
Um, yeah, so let's uh, do the Elder Cone slider now. Alright, so uh, here's the Elder Crone uh, slider now. Uh, this is on my uh, Panasonic GX85. Um, probably not too much of a color difference. Uh, we're not too worried about that though. Um, right now I have it uh, the conveyor belt completely on the negative side so very loose sliding back and forth. Uh, so let's do a couple passes here. <clears throat> Try to be as steady as I can. Go back here again. Now, the one thing you can probably tell is it's a lot more qu quieter. Um, just because the other one uses balls, uh, ball bearings. Um, yeah, so let's. Um, Let's go all the way to the positive side now and uh, see how much more steady I can get here. This is a lot more uh, stiff, so let's. Uh, I think it'll be easier for me. I can control it a little bit more. Yeah, see, this feels much better so far. Um, honestly, uh, the Elder Crone is a lot smaller too. Uh, you can probably store it away a lot easier, if, like in your camera bags and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, I like them both actually. Um, I do lose maybe a couple inches again. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal, just because I only use uh, the sliders for close-ups, for rearing shots, and all that other type of stuff. So um, yeah, so that's it for the Elder Crone slider. Sorry, uh, I do have to add in this extra footage. Um, when I had it on the Andor uh, slider, which I have on right now, um, I had this crappy thing on it um, as you can see from the other uh, clip there um, it was kinda shaky so I'm gonna do it with the uh, other head that I had um, so here we go I just kinda don't wanna make you guys think that it's a crappy slider and it shakes and everything so let's go back again Oops, I got, I got my finger stuck there, so we'll do one more pass here. Good if I can. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, this is actually a not too bad slider. Um, we'll go a little bit faster here. There we go. Alright, okay, so yeah, that's um, this is pretty much my review on these two. Um, I don't usually do reviews on anything. Um, if I do, I just honestly, I just grab the stuff, toss it on the table, turn on the camera and go. Um, I don't do too much editing, so as you can tell. Um, yeah, so honestly, um, if you're looking for something cheap, uh, this was a hundred dollars here shipped um, from China of course and this one you can probably grab now for maybe about two hundred dollars um, yeah so I mean all depends what you want um, you either cheap out and get something like this or you spend the money and get something good that'll probably do you a lot better in the long run so um, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll make some more other reviews like this whenever I get my hands on some other odd stuff. Thanks for watching.